Crashing through the pack ice, heading for the North Pole, this is Russia's audacious bid for the underwater riches of the future. On board, a mini submarine, ready to descend through two miles of Arctic Ocean, down to the seabed, and there to plant this metal flag, putting Russia's claim robustly on the map. The expedition leader, a veteran explorer, Artur Chilingarov, says every descent is heroic, that this one is being done for science and for Russia's presence in the Arctic. These pictures were filmed during a trial run. We have heard, though, that the submarine made it down into the murky deep and back safely, a daring feat monitored around the world. Looking at these icy wastes, you might wonder why bother, but the Arctic is the scene for a new kind of international gold rush. Here it is, a vast and remote region centred on the North Pole, suddenly hot property. America, with its lands in Alaska, is seriously interested. Canada sees the Arctic as its backyard. Denmark has a claim with its control of Greenland. Norway is watching closely. But it's Russia that today is taking the boldest step. Under international law, each country has control up to 200 miles from its coast. But Russia is claiming this huge black chunk as well, saying this underwater ridge connects the seabed to the Russian mainland. The stakes are very high. It's reckoned the Arctic holds some of the largest untapped reserves of oil and gas. And climate change is making this contest all the easier. Just two months ago, only 500 miles from the North Pole, I saw for myself the effects of the rapid warming. Our destination, a new island of ice. We landed on it. The map of the Arctic is changing and opening up new opportunities of the kind the Russians tried to seize today. Russia is proud of its Arctic achievements. Now we'll see how the other Arctic powers respond. David Truckman, BBC News.